All right, hello everyone. Oh, forgot to reel the tripod. Let me go ahead and do that. But anyway, today I'm going to be destroying a, uh, what is that? Dang it. I memorize this stuff. And yes, I'm wearing Crocs once again. Just because I ran outside real quick. Um, it's like an HD receiver. It actually did work. Yes, it is already destroyed. Why is that? Before I started YouTube, I destroyed this thing. Way before. I ripped out the power cord because it poured smoke when I recently tested it. But this is before I started YouTube. I started destroying this at my grandma's house since I was bored. But it's just something that was broke, unnecessary junk. Actually, it did work. So this would be like the first thing I ever destroyed that worked on camera. It didn't work when I'm recording on camera now, so it's still something that doesn't work. Why did you waste this perfectly good piece of technology, if some of you might ask that? Well, the technology is old, useless, and I don't even know how many people use CRTs at this point. I don't think that many. And most people do not use what uh, this is. This is antenna, which that's all we have yet. But we don't have any CRTs except for, like, one. It's like a tiny little... Literally like a five inch it's a tiny little TV made by I don't actually I don't remember the brand but anyway here I cannot get the faceplate back on but this is way before I started YouTube so this is back when I used to destroy stuff you know before I even had YouTube I was not old enough for a Google Google account yet so here we are this thing is in very sad shape but it poured smoke out when I plugged it in the wall anyway. Pulled out that cord and the strain relief is HDMI. It was made in 2016. Anyway, I have a perfect remote, so I guess that's what makes up for it all. Hold on. I guess I'll make it not perfect. Whoa, look at that. Flex on it. Cracked right here. Just from that tiny little thing. Actually, I probably could just snap it in half, but just don't feel like it. We'll just go ahead and drop it. Let's see what happens if you throw your TV up, or TV remote up really high and let it fall. Like, let's just say from a deck. Well, apparently that's what happens to your TV remote if you drop it from a deck. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Look at this. That only took two seconds to destroy this remote. And look, I only, here, hold on, let me block that neighbor's yard. Only from that deck right there, I threw it up to that. That was it. Okay. Let's reassemble it and just destroy it like that. At least my remote complete. Considering it's really not broken, except for the clips, I guess. But will it snap together? Let's see. Let's find out. Honestly, I wonder if batteries would have held it all together yet. Well, looks like the logic board does not want to go back into the remote. It does. It just popped apart. But it doesn't want to go back together the best, and that's in there yet. Anyway. First thing I want to do is hit this little board right here. That went right in the middle. No joke, it went right in the middle of that. That's great. Alright, I'm going to get some gloves and pull that back out. Because that stuff is sharp. Alright, anyway, here, let's hit this. Try not to make the biggest mess. That's about it. That USB port, that's just gone. No more USB. Let's go ahead and hit the... Alright, here's just rip this whole lid off. 
Nothing much was holding that. Got this uh, little cover plate for that. Uh, I don't know. Forgot the name of it now once again. For this. Uh, I don't know why I can't remember that name ever. Oh man, it's still bolted now. I thought the board might be able to fall out for some reason. Here. Oh no, the capacitor. Not a capacitor, damn it. Uh, anyway, you could get shocked and die. This is good. Fit in here. Alright, now let's hit the main board. That actually still worked, I'm pretty sure. The board actually. Not anymore. The CPU is broken. The processor. That's actually going to be pretty satisfying. I think if I hit on these ports right here, they would damage the one component port. The green one, as you can tell. I'm going to hit right now on it. Not much damage. Man, it's just me or... This is very satisfying, except this little board here. Oh no, guys, it's not usable. We can't plug it in. Ah, uh, well, we still got HDMI. Yeah, uh, you have to bend this thing off, I guess. Break it. Let's go ahead and break this off. All right. Ah. Not to sound too weird right now, but I'm actually very surprised. Not this, but look. Pulled out the parts in the board. It didn't even take the screws out of the board or break the motherboard. It actually just popped these out. See? It took the entire pieces out of this little plate. Alright, now I can just go ahead and destroy the rest of this Samsung chip. Are you kidding me right now? I thought it was just going to break off in one simple snap or whatever. Nothing. Okay, we got a perfect HDMI port, so you can still plug it in the wall if necessary, except you cannot put any single in now, so it's basically useless. You should be able to still get an input if you connect your uh, solder it on there, I guess. Let's find out if you can just fix that real quick. Let me go ahead and hit it head on now. Alright, let's break out the HDMI. Hmm. The board's a little stronger than I was thinking. 
Anyway, here we can break it in half now. Not in half, but I mean, you did break it. All right, now let's get to this perfect remote. See if Crocs can destroy it all the way. Take that back, should have said that before. Stomped on it. Broke a big chunk out of the back. Wow, China. Make the world's best stuff, don't you? Well, found out why it wasn't sitting in properly. Properly. Um, I think we can actually fix that, though. Just, uh, Snap it all back together, and there you go. Just gonna step on it. Oh, that's what happens if you stomp on your remote when you get angry at a football game. Except I don't watch football. Let me just drop a hammer from like right here, and this is probably gonna blow into pieces. Well, not as much as I thought. But, uh, definitely broke the board in half. It's still something I can still destroy. So why not try to re-piece it? Back to and try to put it back together. I still got a little use out of it. I think I still make some more use out of this thing. Now let's go ahead and do what I wanted to mainly do. Neighbors not looking out the window. Though. I hope not. That's some cheap stuff in this remote. The remote. Break whatever it is. Just rip part. Key pad. All right. Some computer nostalgia history here. It's all gone now. In fact, it's everywhere. It's even under the tripod. big piece of the remote right here. Actually, that's really, really satisfying. Want some ASMR? Is it just me or, oh, it is a sticker. See, I thought I heard it. I thought it was a sticker. Alright, well, let's go ahead and see if it's still in the bushes, or if it just didn't land in there. Yes, it did. I don't have any gloves, so you guys get to watch me cut my hand up. Holy crap, I feel that digging into my skin already. Oh, my. You feel like it's just sticking to your skin, but it's not. It's like you're cutting in to my skin. Man. anything but ow that hurts so bad yep all because this oh man brand new man I was actually kind of looking for this I was like what happened to the main part of the board let's destroy this Now the main part, they won't destroy that. Oh, man.
Wow, that is some durable stuff. Let's hit it from the back. Or this back side. The claw. Sorry. Alright, there you go. Oh, there you go. Ow. Alright. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I got a really big mess to clean up now, and yeah. Everywhere. So, I'll see you guys later. Bye.